parts of southern Buffalo, which is where Orchard Park is, have already had two feet of snow, and there's plenty more to come. Some models have said up to four or five or even six feet of snow over the course of this weekend. So the NFL took the game out of Buffalo, put it in Detroit. Not a far flight from Buffalo, and the Bills will have some kind of familiarity since they will be at home, quote-unquote, two weeks in a row. They'll play this home game in Detroit on Sunday, and then again in Detroit the following Thursday. They'll be playing against the Lions on Thanksgiving. Of course, that will be a true Detroit Lions home game. But, Murad, the the reports are that the Bills will not stay in Detroit over the course of the week. They will fly home after the game on Sunday. Yeah, well, not necessarily Sunday. I think they're going to wait to fly home Monday morning and then return Wednesday afternoon. So they'll be home for maybe 48 hours or so, sleep in their own bed, be at their own practice facility after apparently the snow should get removed and dealt with in western New York. The reason that the NFL and the Buffalo Bills agree to punt on this home game is that they didn't want to divert resources away from the necessary snow removal that happens when you have blizzards and things like this. So one could understand that. From a football standpoint, this helps the Bills because Buffalo is the more high-powered attack. Buffalo's got the elite quarterback. Buffalo has the best wide receiver. Buffalo has an explosive offense that wants to get up and down the field. The Browns do not. The Browns have a workman, journeyman quarterback in Jacoby Brissett. They've got the ground game as their bread and butter. They want to play defense and shorten the game and muck it up for you and try to win a low-scoring game. And really, they're trying to hang on for dear life in their season right now until Deshaun Watson comes back in a couple of weeks. So this being moved out of the elements, where it was definitely going to be windy, if not snowy, they've had thunder snow in the last 24 hours, is definitely advantage Bills. And maybe that's why the Bills also agreed to doing this. So I think, as you saw yesterday, the number bumped up for the Bills as a favorite, and the number bumped up for the total points scored. They know controlled conditions, indoors, no wind, no weather. The Bills should be able to score more points than they would in bad conditions, thus advantage Bills. So this might actually work out for a Bills team that desperately needs this win after they fell to 6-3 and three after last week's debacle, third place in the AFC East. Secondarily, though, we lose some great theater, don't we? For sure. A snow game with a blizzard and with two or three or four feet of snow on the sideline is great theater for everybody. It is what we want to see. It is what the TV people would want to broadcast. It is... The soap opera. It is. It is the background. It is what the viewers would want to tune in for versus a neutral site, Detroit Lions Stadium, in a Browns versus Bills game. Nobody needs to see We don't need to tune in now. It doesn't have the same oomph. It doesn't have the same theater. It doesn't have the same interest. Snow games are, by nature, interesting. It's why we would watch Akron Buffalo tomorrow. That's why I probably will watch Akron Buffalo tomorrow. Exactly. Yes, last night, even the flurries in Lambeau. It doesn't even have to stick. It's picturesque. It's pretty. There's no chance that game takes the field, by the way. No chance the Bulls and the Zips? No chance. Wow. What do you think is going to happen? No, I think they're going to cancel it today. And what are they going to do about the game? I don't know. Akron apparently has already arrived, by the way. So you're... Playing the hotel. You're convinced they're not going to play no, the game, I, but you don't know what they're going to do. I three. How do you get out to the stadium? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I don't think that they have three feet of snow where that stadium's located because of the lake effect. I think that's the difference. And it's not 
a bunch of fans from the metropolitan Buffalo area flocking to a Buffalo Bulls game the way it would be a Bills game. You have a lot of students walking out of their dorms. Okay. So the reason why, again, that the the NFL pulled the ripcord on this game is because they didn't want to divert resources from other places that would need snow clearance and clear roads and emergency vehicles and safety you know, precautions, et cetera. And that's totally understandable. The question is, once upon a time, wouldn't this game be played no matter what, the NFL? I mean, isn't canceling, delaying, or moving games a relatively new phenomenon of the NFL? We've had games moved because stadium domes have caved in. We've had Buffalo Bills games a couple of years ago moved to Detroit when there was too much snow. We've had games delayed because of COVID to Monday or Tuesday of the week. We've had games due to weather moved to Monday or Tuesday of the week. I think there used to be a time, now granted COVID's not a good excuse and snow caving in a roof isn't a good excuse because those are once in a lifetime events, but weather has always happened and I don't think that we have been Back in the day, we used to have a bunch of games move to Mondays and Tuesdays in neutral sites. This is the fifth game ever moved or canceled due to snow in NFL history. That's a great stat. Do you have the dates of the other four? I do. Okay, let's do this. All right. This game, clearly, all right, we know that. The last one was November 23rd, 2014, Jets at Buffalo. 2014, we went over right. Field. Then before that, four years earlier, December 26, 2010, it was in Philadelphia, Minnesota at Philadelphia. 2010. I think that was a Travaris Jackson game. Okay. That same year, two weeks earlier, was the giant Viking game and the Metro Dome collapsed. We had two of those instances in 2010. The last one before that, the first ever one, 1935, Boston at Philadelphia flat out canceled due to a blizzard. Okay. So we went from 1939 until 35. 1935 until 2010. It's a long time. That's nearly 80 years. That's 75 years of football was played, and we never delayed or moved a game. We never moved a game. This is just moving games. Yes. And I tend to think there's a reason for this. In 1935, probably, there's just no infrastructure to move the blizzard. They just don't have enough to get it done. There's just not enough machinery or whatever. Or by train, the other team couldn't even get there. Exactly, right. Whatever, the transportation or the movement of the snow just physically can't happen. So they just, they're not even going to bother. And the game's not that important. It's an NFL game of the 30s, which might be like an arena game today. It's just not that important in 1935. That's only 10 years after the league was founded, basically. But... We had outdoor games in Minnesota, outdoor games at Lambeau, outdoor games in Chicago, outdoor games in Buffalo, outdoor games in New York and Philadelphia and Boston and Foxborough and all of these places that had snow. Detroit was outdoors for many, many years before the Pontiac Silverdome. So what happened? I think by the time we get to 2010, that's an interesting year, there is such scrutiny on decision-making of people in power. That everybody gets scared of worst-case scenarios. In 1972, is the NFL worried that maybe a family or a couple of guys going to a game slides off the side of the road and gets pushed into a ditch or something like that and then get stranded for three hours? No, the NFL doesn't care because that story doesn't become a national story. That story basically doesn't even become a local story. That guy goes to the bar on the next Friday and tells everybody, yeah, would you believe it? I tried to go to the game and then got stuck in a snow drift for four hours. Nobody cares. In 2010, 2014, 2018, and now 2022, any little thing that happens that could be connected to a safety purpose, something derailed, something got diverted, suddenly becomes a, how could you do that? How could you put people in harm's way? How could you play the game? And everybody is so sensitive on pins and needles and skeptical that now 
the power brokers have to be overly safe. It's like teachers nowadays. Every teacher is on pins and needles because they're worried about the parents putting something on Facebook or social media or emailing the principal because of something they said or they put on notes or they did in the classroom that suddenly comes back to bite them. The NFL knows. Is it a lot of snow? Sure. I mean, no doubt. But Buffalo's had a lot of snow for a long time. We don't move games to Detroit in 1985. There is a game at Lambeau, I think it's 84, and it is a blizzard in the middle of the stadium in the middle of the game. We didn't move that game. Sunday. Sunday afternoon. Not Monday night. Not let's move the game to Minnesota. Not let's go play in Indianapolis. It's we're playing football. Now there is such a heightened worry. Everybody worries now. Everybody. And I'm certainly in that same vein because, you know, you hear there's going to be thunder, snow, and wind, and this, and you go, well, how can they di- How can they divert plows from the people that need it? What about the police? What about the firefighters? What about the ambulances? What about the fans getting to the stadium? What about putting them in danger? Everybody's so worried about everything now. These companies, these teams have to go overboard because could you just imagine? 2022, there's a family that's going to this Bills game and on the way they get into a car accident and God forbid something happens because they're snowy roads. Suddenly becomes the NFL and the Bills' fault. Why would you play this game? Let's just say that the Bills team bus gets stuck trying to get to the stadium earlier that morning, and now they can't kick off until 145. Oh, Twitter goes crazy. The pregame shows are all over it. People are melting out. Can you believe this? Ha, ha, ha. What did they think was going to happen? This is ridiculous. Why are they playing this game? Why do they move it? The din of the crowd is so loud now, and everybody's such a worrier. Once upon a time, this, this game is definitely played. Definitely. 2022, the powers that be feel, we can't afford it. Played in Detroit. Okay. All right. Like there used to be a lot of neutral site NFL games. No, of course not. But the world changed. 